Now, I usually don't care about symbolic victories, right? You know, I, this is considered a symbolic victory because systemically, black people are still, right, suffering from systemic oppression, right? Racism, disenfranchisement, subjugation, etc. And um, so this, this Roseanne, I haven't, listen, I don't even know Rose, Roseanne was even on a goddamn sitcom. You know what I'm saying? I know who Roseanne was or is. I know she had her show back in the 90s, but I had no idea that it was like re-aired on TV. I don't, I rarely watch regular TV, you know, pretty much social media is my TV, you know, so, but uh, from what I'm reading now is that, you know, uh, an ABC executive who is classified as black or African American was one of the main people to fire Roseanne for her racist tweets uh, that she said about a former aide of Barack Obama, Valerie Jarrett. Right? And this is her tweet here that was deleted. It says, Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby. Equals VJ. Valerie Jarrett. Now, with all the shit that Clockwork Orange, a.k.a. Donald Trump, is doing, you're still talking about Obama. That lets you know how white supremacy has such a myopic view on racism. No matter what they're saying, you can say, we tamed the continent and, you know, we're not going to apologize for your atrocities for the history of America because you're a black nigger. That's what basically Clockwork Orange was saying to black people, right? During that graduation ceremony for the military last week. No matter what Clockwork Orange is saying or doing, the focus is still on mistreating black people. And that's what Roseanne Barr was doing, you know, tweeting out this racist comment about, you know, Valerie Jarrett, uh, the Barack Obama administration. We have Clockwork Orange in office with the plethora of issues that's happening on all sides. Your focus is still targeting and you still have a myopic view on Barack Obama, the first African-American president in the so-called United States of America. That lets you, again, that lets you know the mind state of how powerful these people, these chocolate bastards, these Neanderthal, de these Neanderthal devils think of us, black people, right? Their only focus, their only, the only mission is to mistreat black people. And that's it. That's it. Um, but going back to this story, um, you know, Shannon uh, Dungy, from my understanding, like I said, she was a, an executive for ABC, and she was the one, I thought I had a picture of her somewhere on uh, one of these uh, articles, but uh, um, she was the one that would help make the decision of firing Roseanne uh, from her, her sitcom that returned. And she just was appointed uh, uh, Dungey, Shannon Dungey, was just appointed the uh, one of the executive roles in ABC last year, right? And much props to her, you know, much props to her. Again, I, I call this a symbolic victory because she's still an employee of ABC, you know, even though she has a very powerful position you're still an employee, so the dominant white society can fire you anytime they want to. We still don't own and control the infrastructure in the entertainment industry or all nine areas of activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. So we need to own and control all nine areas of activity from top to bottom, the infrastructure, etc. And that's the only way we can combat racism, white supremacy, right? which I always talk about on my channel. But I just have to acknowledge her for doing this. I have to acknowledge Shannon Dungey for doing this and I'll just give her props for, for making that decision to fire and cancel Roseanne Barr 
with this racist ass, white supremacist, chocolateite, Neanderthal devil, Roseanne Barr. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta give her props for that. They're talking about that the show was averaging $45 million of advertising revenue and stuff like that. Um, if, if, I'm, if I'm reading that correctly. Regardless of all that, if the, if the show's bringing in a lot of money, they still made the decision to cancel the show based off the racist tweets that Roseanne Barr said. And I gotta acknowledge that. So much props to uh, Shannon, um, Shannon Dungey for doing that. All right. So I just wanted to do a real quick video about this. Uh, leave your comments down below about Roseanne Barr. <laughs> Did you even know that she had a show back on on ABC? I had no idea. Cause like I guess I don't watch no damn TV, so I, I don't, you know, care less about Roseanne Barr. What she doing? How old is she? She got to be like in her seventies. You know these chocolate night bastards. They always look older than what they are. Like, she's probably, I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming she's like in her 60s or something like that. She's old as shit. But she does look like she's in her damn 60s or 70s, right? When you hate, when you have white supremacy in your blood, hatred in your blood, physically, health-wise, it makes your body deteriorate faster because you have hate in your system. And that is the... That is one of the side effects of, be, of being a white supremacist is that it causes health side effects visually. It makes you look older. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, those are my thoughts on that family. Leave your comments down below about this story. Uh, link for this story that I have is in the description down below. Let me know what you guys think, family. Until next time, make sure you follow me on social media at GMOG Media TV. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that bell notification icon for up and coming videos. Until next time, family Chauncey, AKA the Black Separatist signing out.